<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Charlie. We're Garden for Two. Teresa's over there taking a break today. Um, I'm going to show you something that she made for me today that was absolutely delicious. And I'm going to get right to it. Come on over. It's right here on the stove. I've already had three bowls. It's a homemade soup. So you can see our string beans, carrots, things that we grow in our garden. Um, not all of this was from our garden because it's our first year in Delaware growing, so we didn't have time to put everything in. But the onions, um, you could put squash in there, turnips. We used a lot of turnips. So I had three bowls for dinner of it, three bowls. Um, people garden for a lot of different reasons, you know, but the taste for this dish right here, and that pot was full, <laughs> we ate it all the way down, but taste was absolutely wonderful. And that's why we garden for, for that flavor. Now, she didn't put a lot of greens in this one, but you know, we could put um, other kinds of greens in there. So anyhow, that's part of why you grow a garden. Let me see if I stay in the picture here. So if you go out to a restaurant and if you're the kind of person that grows things in your garden because it saves you money, which is real important to me, but the taste was actually the best they could. But if you went out to a restaurant and you had tried to eat dinner out, it cost you $20 a person about now. Uh, this, we stayed home to eat and we cook it ourselves. So let's say it's like free. So it saved us in one meal $40. So instead of looking at the cost benefit of, well, I grew string beans and I got a pound of string beans. And if I went to the supermarket to buy those string beans, it would cost me $1.99 a pound. I don't look at it like how much is a, pa a package of carrots? You know, how much is a package of string beans? You could do that, but look at the meals that you get and what you're saving by the meal. And you're gonna find out that growing your own uh, produce is a lot cheaper uh, because you could do so many things with it. Okay, um, the soup, just because the taste was so good, I just had to share that with you guys. Um, but it does, you know, come down to a cost factor too. Now, what else do we do? So here you can see the homemade peppers. All right, we didn't grow these. But now when you go to the supermarket and you're buying lettuce, which is an easy thing to grow, you're spending three, four dollars for a package like this. These are the way we do our string beans. So we don't have to buy string beans. We also freeze our string beans. We didn't have time this year to grow pickles, but we will grow pickles and we will put them in the big gallon jars and cut our own. But we have to go out and buy these, and I buy the other name brands sometimes. And you're getting the $3 for a little jar now. So, and I love pickles. I eat a lot of pickles. So Teresa makes me homemade ketchup, but we didn't have time for that this year. I want the no sugar added ketchup. And this year they came out with a larger size jar. It used to be only a small jar that you could get on if you had to buy it at the store. But she makes me homemade ketchup and she makes it in a pot this size that she made the soup almost. So we get, get huge jars of it. So we don't have to buy ketchup. That thing there costs like $4. Okay, I don't have the tomato sauce here, but if you use the no sugar tomato sauce, the one quart jar is $6 and up now. So we make our own um, tomato sauce when we can. I haven't done it yet, but we go through a lot of this salsa. And this year we're gonna grow um, enough produce and make our own salsa, okay? So we do that. You know we just put in the orchard. The trees are in, we're waiting for one more tree, but this is the way Teresa makes the homemade peach jam for us. Um, this has got sugar in it. Well, she uses a, a pectin kind of thing that you don't need a whole lot of sugar added to it. But um, this is really good. And we just take some 
what do we take like yogurt and mix this with some yogurt plain plain yogurt and you mix a little bit of this and it's absolutely delicious dessert throw a banana in there or blueberry if you like but this is the way I don't know if you can even see them in there but that's the way to do your peaches and can them up anyhow so the way I look at it is you do the cost-benefit analysis by the meal not by the individual item yeah if I'm gonna eat a peach fresh and Teresa eats peaches fresh too every day then we look at the cost of that because it's four peaches a day she eats two at least and I eat two so that's four peaches and at a dollar fifty peach we're spending six dollars a day on peaches was it worth it to plant one tree for forty dollars that's going to yield us peaches for the next 10 to 15 years absolutely absolutely now we're gonna to have to protect it from the deer and all that but when you look at the peaches the apples we're gonna get um, cherries we love cherries fresh cherries and as soon as they come in we're all over that i eat watermelon every single day in the summertime so i'm going through one to two watermelons a week so i'm going to grow my own watermelons this year i'm going to grow my own cantaloupes and i'm going to experiment with honeydew potatoes um we're going to grow three kinds red skin white and hopefully some sweet potatoes all right sweet potatoes are delicious um and all those things are really healthy for you i know they have sugar in it and people say oh we go keto and don't eat uh, you know i'm all for that i won't eat a candy bar anymore but i'm going to eat the things that i grow okay and if i have to i'll limit how many of each of things i i eat but a watermelon this year the first watermelon i saw was eight dollars this year i don't know if you've seen watermelons yet in your area but eight dollars for a watermelon don't know how many i'm going to get um it's the first year in delaware growing watermelons so cross your fingers and I hope we'll do good with that. Anyhow, that's, uh, I just really wanted to show you her soup that she made for me tonight. It's absolutely delicious. I love it. And not to mention that it saved me a whole lot of money. Um, and it's really healthy for me. So that's why you garden, okay? And <laughs> Teresa gardens for another reason. She just loves to go out there and be in nature and play in the dirt. And I got nothing wrong with that, but it's not what, it's not what motivates me but I know it motivates her. She just loves it. Um, it's great to be out in the fresh air and in the sun too. So anyhow, that's the soup that she made for us today. I was gonna do a different video uh, in the future on like the cost benefit analysis and lay it all out for you guys as to why you do this and where I think these prices are going in the next two and three years, you know, based on historical values. So <laughs> maybe I'll still do that. Because uh, it, it's actually going to come out to be um, pretty profitable to have your own garden in the future. And not to mention, the things just taste so much better. Fresh asparagus. I don't know how much asparagus we're going to get. But this year and then next year. But at cheap price now, $1.99 a pound for asparagus. And we'll get 100 to 200 pounds maybe. So just on asparagus, we're going to have two to $400 in return on our investment. And... You know, the, the asparagus roots only cost me $14.99. So, uh, yeah, it's it's worth it. And the, when you break off an asparagus and you eat it fresh in your garden, um, the kids used to eat the string beans fresh off the off the trees, the vines. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's the best thing for you. Anyhow, this is Charlie and Teresa Garden for Two. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed looking at Teresa's homemade soup. It's absolutely delicious.